It was a horrifying moment here at the College Station platform on Monday. A man was critically injured in an unprovoked ice pick stabbing. I'll have more on the victim and the suspect in just a moment, but first I want to introduce you to Nora Sagarwala, a good Samaritan who, in the middle of chaos, decided to lend a hand. And a warning, some of the video you're about to see is graphic. He said that he was dying and I, I said, no, you're not dying, Francisco. I was just like, I'm Nora, just focus on me. There's, you know, you're gonna be okay. A man who was brutally stabbed in a random attack is given comfort and reassurance by commuter turned Good Samaritan, Nora Sagarwala. I had my hand on his sort of the side of his face, his neck, and I was like, I can feel your heart beating in your neck. I can see you breathing. You're not dying. You just have to hang on. Sagarwala was on her way to get some lunch Monday around noon when chaos and screams erupted on the subway after it pulled into College Station. All of a sudden there was shouting and yelling. We were all trying to figure out what was going on. Somebody said somebody has a weapon. Police say without prompting, a man started yelling and violently attacked another commuter with an ice pick. Sagarwala says within seconds, panic was growing on the platform. This video, taken by a fellow commuter, shows other passengers coming to the aid of the victim who's bleeding profusely from his face and in obvious pain. Nobody was responding. Um, people were sort of standing around filming it with their phones. So I just, I kind of just held his face in my hands and just tried to stay with him. 27-year-old Thomas Somerville was taken into police custody. He's since been charged with aggravated assault, possession and carrying a concealed weapon. The victim, a 60-year-old man, was rushed to St. Mike's Hospital. He had received very, very serious stab wounds. The ice pick pierced his brain and some of his, uh, and his head cavity. Uh, he's in critical but stable condition in hospital, and so far he's lost vision in one of his eyes. I don't know if that's permanent or not. The TTC says special constables were on scene within four minutes of the call and were able to apprehend the suspect quickly. You said the special constables just happened to be there or in the area. If, if it, that wasn't the case, who would have rushed in? So, well, they didn't just happen to be there. They, they're, they're deployed strategically. At that time of day, uh, you know, line one is very busy at that time of day. So we have two that are stationed at Young and Blue most of the time. Uh, so they would have only been a couple stations away. He told me his name was Francisco. He was able to look at me and just stay focused and just kept him calm. Sagarwala says ever since the incident, she can't help but think of the man who she held and promised everything would be okay. I know he's in intensive care now at St. Mike's and I'm just hoping he'll pull through. The suspect, Thomas Somerville, made his first court appearance earlier this week. He's due back in court tomorrow morning. Amanda Ferguson, City News.